The new Nikon digital sight DSFI2 camera can be attached to any microscope with a C-mount adapter. The Nikon ergonomic body tube tilts, telescopes, and has a port for photography. Move into a comfortable position and then adjust the ergo tube. Nikon manufactures several microscope cameras. For most clinical applications, including pathology, the DSFI2 fits the bill perfectly. It's a 5 megapixel camera that can be switched to record 1.3 megapixel images as well. A 1.3 megapixel setting matches most computer screens pixel for pixel, allowing for optimum size images that can be saved as bitmaps, TIFFs, or JPEGs. The DSL3 controller, pictured here, is a standalone system that does not require a computer. Of course, a computer can be connected by way of a USB or network cable. The best feature is that the Nikon DSL3 controller is easy to use. The 7-inch touchscreen can be used with a stylus or a mouse. To start, click or touch the camera icon on the bottom of the screen. This launches the main menu. Here you can adjust the brightness, select a custom setting, use the focus gauge, or magnify the image for sharper, low power photographs. If a white balance is needed, just move the stage to a clear white area, click on the white balance icon, click OK, then bring back the sample. The image can be darkened or lightened as well. Once you're satisfied, just click Capture. Images can be saved to a flash card or a USB memory stick. A mouse can be inserted here. Real-time remote viewing is done via the network port. A USB port connects a computer and an external monitor connects here. For a smoother workflow, you can take advantage of the conveniently located capture button on the CIL microscope. I hope this brief overview of the Nikon DSFI2 camera and a DSL3 controller was helpful. Next time we'll explore more features of the L3 such as the dual window, measurements, and annotations.